Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can take your Minecraft computer and the conditional branching system and set it up so that rather than branching just on a switch, there's like on, branch, off, no branch. Rather than that, you can make it branch based on something you calculate. Now typically this is done if your ALU output is zero. This is so. Here's how this is going to work. First I'm going to make a couple of small adjustments to this. And I'm going to put, place torches. Now the reason I'm doing this is because after I place torches, that will allow me to build a giant AND gate. And that is the heart of, the, of why this system was going to work. And there, that's what I want to do. So now... I have two of the sets of torches set up. I just need to link these wires and my AND gate will be complete. And... There we go. Maybe. And to make sure it reaches all the way to the end, even with just one, it is indeed making it all the way to the end with just that one. That's good. That's exactly what I'm ho hoping for. That's where it ends. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like this, and just have this be the output of the AND gate. And unfortunately, I need to get even more of these wires covered up. And this, again, this would probably be... I should never said this before, but this would probably be a lot cleaner if I hadn't... Or rather, if I had designed with, with this in mind, rather than sort of implementing it as an afterthought like I am right now. But oh well. This is going to act as a giant AND gate. This is going to become... This right torch right here is going to turn on only when every single one of these is on. I think I've done this backwards. <laughs> okay, I f can fix this by changing all these torches to repeaters, I'm pretty sure. There we go. So now, since it is zero, but if I send power to any single one of these, then that torch should turn off. Good. So this is working just like I want it. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag this sort of around like this. Because really there's not going to be a very clean way of doing this in the end. But I can still try. So this is going to ultimately need to connect to the conditional branching wire right here. So that means I'm going to need to power up and have my wire slowly run out of power. And yep. And okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna make do this slightly differently. I'm going to do double inversion. Inversion one, inversion two. And I'm gonna make this into an AND gate. That way I can will have the ability to not do that. But and or that, but rather have a switch on the side, like this. Not to replace this torch. And I'll just have this inverted. So this way, the switch is going to uh, enable enable mathematical branching. So this is going to enable enable mathematical branching. And when this switch is on, this will branch whenever the ALU output is zero. If it is anything other than zero, it will not branch, even if this thing is off. So, 
I think this is going to be everything for this video. This is how you set it up to branch based on math calculations, and yeah, thank you. See you in the next video.